TSP, The Sloan's Project, Timothy James McVeigh. Profile. What's good, y'all? We talking Timothy James McVeigh. He was born April 23rd, 1968. And he was put to death on June 11th, 2001 by lethal injection. He was responsible for the Oklahoma City bombing, which killed 168 people and injured over 680 others. The bombing, they said, was the deadliest act of terrorism within the United States. And it, it, it predated sep the September 11th attacks. But um, he was 33 when he died. Um, I'm not going to talk y'all too long. This Quest Legends, the Sloan's Project. Enjoy the profile. I'm out. Their only crime was trying to make this a better world. By the time he bombed the federal building, McVeigh's world had unraveled. He says his experience in the Gulf War was the beginning of his transformation from loyal soldier to alienated critic of his government. Uh, I went over there hyped up. Just like everyone else, not only is Saddam evil, all Iraqis are evil. Uh, what I experienced, though, was an entirely different ballgame. And being face-to-face -face close with these people in personal contact, you realize they're just people like you. It's hard for some people to come to grips with, with you as the same person who was commended by the Army, who received the Bronze Star, who received the Combat Medal as being the same person who was convicted in the Oklahoma City bombing. They can't put the two together. You understand that? I do understand. Uh, they perceive, and many people have thrown this at me. They say, well, Tim, imagine the paradox. In the Gulf War, you were given medals for killing people. So I face that um, that issue quite a few times with people that bring it up to me. And how do you explain it then? At that point, usually I just uh, leave it at that um, and say that it is an interesting paradox. McVeigh chose not to re-enlist in the Army and was honorably discharged in 1991. So is it fair to say that you were disillusioned when you came back? I mean, is that why you left the Army? It, it's part of it. I'm sure something didn't feel right in me, but I couldn't quantify it. I couldn't say what it was. Whatever it was, Timothy McVeigh was becoming increasingly resentful towards his government. He returned home to upstate New York and wrote a letter to his local newspaper saying, in part that democracy was on the verge of failure and that, quote, America is in serious decline. You ended that letter with the words, do we have to shed blood to reform the current system? I hope it doesn't come to that, but it might. Right. Sounds like you are pretty angry when you came back. Um, I believe I had anger welling in me, yes. Timothy McVeigh's anger would erupt four years later in Oklahoma City, forever changing the lives of...